Serialization is the process of converting an object state to a format that can be easily stored or transmitted and then reconstructing that object state from that format. In this tutorial, we will focus on using WXXML document, a class in the WXVideos library, to serialize C++ objects using XML. XML, or Extensible Markup Language, is a widely used standard for storing and exchanging data between different systems. It uses a structured format of tags and attributes to describe the data. XML is particularly useful for storing hierarchical or structured data, such as configurations, datasets, or user interfaces. In our case, we want to serialize graphical objects that represent line paths in our drawing app. There is an option to save the project, but it generates a raster PNG image. This image contains only information about pixels, without any logical data describing the points, colors, and the widths of the squiggles. Here's our class representing a single path. We have the list of points to be connected with lines, a color, and the width. Let's write a class that handles the serialization of these objects. The XML header line is added automatically by WX widgets when saving the document, so we don't have to worry about that. The first node we add is named paint document. The version attribute helps us maintain the file format as our application develops over time. If at some point we decide that a significant change to the XML format is needed, we can increase the version, letting the app parse document save both with the old file format and the ones saved by a newer version of the app. Then we iterate over the paths. Each one will be represented by an object node with type, color and width attributes. Finally, the list of points. The point nodes will have no children or subnodes, just the X and Y attributes. We add the nodes to their parents, set the root node and return the document. Deserialization is a mirror image of this process. Going through all the children of the root paint document node, we find the ones that are marked with the path type, read their color and width attributes, and iterate over their points. Here's how to use these methods. Assuming we have a serializer object in our main frame class, we can handle saving like this. Create and show the file save dialog, create a document using our serializer and the current path on canvas, and call the save method on the WXXML document object. This method will convert all the XML nodes we created into text and save it to a file. Similarly, for loading the XML, show the file selection dialog, use the load method to parse the text to XML nodes, and call deserialize to recreate the squiggles list. Let's see what this looks like. We draw a few lines in our app and click Save As. After selecting the file name and destination, we navigate to that folder and take a look at the file we created. Opening in Notepad reveals that indeed our PX file is an XML. We can now clear the canvas, load the file and see that this serialization works correctly. Note that our file is pretty large for what it is. That's the downside of XML, it tends to be quite verbose. Let's fix this by introducing compression. I talk more about compressing data in WX widgets in a separate tutorial, so be sure to check it out if you want to know more details. In order to compress the XML, we create a file output stream and corresponding zip stream. By calling save on the XML document and providing the zip stream as an argument, we automatically compress the XML data as the selected zip entry. For the compression, we use special file system handlers. We need to register the zip handler in the constructor and then we can open the compressed entry just like any other file by adding the hashtag zip suffix to the file name and reading from the stream. Now when we save a file, we can see its size is significantly smaller. Just around 600 bytes compared to more than 2 kilobytes for the plain XML format. To test the file format, we clear the canvas and load the file. Everything works well. Then we duplicate the file, change its name to zip and open it using the default unarchiver in Windows. Here's our XML file. We can load it to see the contents. You may have noticed that we use buttons to trigger these save and load actions. It would be better to have that functionality in the main menu, like in most apps. We will implement that when we refactor our application to use the WX document framework. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. For now that's it and thanks for watching.